Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I hope you all are doing well out there. Well, my sisters, I've come before you um, with yet another conference. I won't be before you long. But I just wanted to put you all up on some game. Uh, be mindful of these whores I hear that may be going around calling other females gold diggers. Um, I know that that's something that um, either a whore or a pack of whores um, has said about me. And, um, of course, it's a lie. See, one thing that um, these whores fail to realize, my sisters, is that women who work for their money, whether if they be self-employed or if they have an employer, uh, most likely are not gold diggers. I'm not saying that women that are gold diggers um, may not have occupations, but, you know, if you're anything like me, you work for your own money. That means you're not standing around waiting for a male to hand you anything. And uh, what, a, what I see these whores out here doing, or whores doing, is that if they feel that there's a particular male, that um, if they feel that you're friends with the person, or if they feel they're friends with the person, um, they will try to, they will tell the person that, may tell the person that you are a gold digger. And so then that's going to make the male think that you need him for something. When what people like that feel to realize is that they don't know what's in your wallet. You understand and we're not talking necessarily about bank accounts because a lot of people don't even trust banks they don't even keep their money in the bank well because for one thing you don't know who's standing up there uh, looking into your bank account but whatever you don't have in the bank they don't know what you have in another place you get my drift I don't have to go into too much detail as it pertains to that but anyway, I just wanted to bring that to you all's attention because what those whores do, they will uh, try to stand around your lives and they will try to dictate this and dictate that. And they don't even know you. They don't know you from Adam. You know, and um, the reason why I just felt the need to ha hold this conference is to just put you all up on that type of game. Because, you know, a lot of males out there, I just t I just, I'm just going to tell, tell it like it is. They don't think for themselves. You know, and if they're friends with whores and they think that a whore likes them as far as like friendship, maybe they will lean towards what the whore has to say. When what those types of males fail to realize is that a whore is not a friend to anybody. That is the biggest liar on the planet. That is the biggest deceiver on the planet. That is the biggest skink on the planet. A lying whore that will call other females gold diggers, but you all are the ones that are clocking your dollars. You, and you're not standing around uh, waiting for a man to hand you his money and you're not cocking leg to get money from a man because you are woman enough to go out and make your own whereas a whore is not okay so I just felt the need to um, come on and share that with you all because um, you know I'm sure there are probably many of you out there that have been called gold diggers I know I've been called a, a gold digger you know by um, whores or whatever because uh, they were trying to make somebody think that I wanted them for their money and my thought is tramp look I got my own money okay and like I said um, I look at it this way you know a lot of times you know those tramps that's you know I'm just so quick to come back at trash because you know, um, a lot of times when those tramps are putting lies out on people, you know, you all may be out there shopping, you all may be out of town, you all may be on vacation, you could be anywhere. And you've got those tramps out there uh, painting pictures of you all that is false, you know, because um, some of the stuff that, you know, I know the battles that I've had with people when it was going on, I was out of town having a good time. You know, I wasn't thinking about the riff raff trash that was back you know the way that uh, you know the drama was coming from I could care less so you know when they were sitting in their homes or shelters or wherever they were sitting the streets as far as I know um, trying to cause chaos and confusion in my life I was like taking trips and on trips and climbing mountains and you know <laughs> anyway that's a whole nother story but yeah I was, I was climbing the mountain I'm talking about literally okay so like I said you know you can't stop a moving train. I'm going to live my life regardless, okay? So, you know, like I said, you know, those nasty skinks, they're out there spreading lies on me, and I'm standing on top of the mountain looking down, you know? <laughs> so, you know, that's what it is, and it's straight like that, you know? And that's what you ladies have to do. You have to move in silence, and you have to live your lives. And then that way, you let, just let people make fools out of themselves, you know? And even as it pertains to the dudes, they're out there 
and they may think somebody want them for that money and they didn't see you doing they didn't see you when you were doing all that shopping and they don't see your clothes and they don't see your shoes your handbags your purses your jewelry your cosmetics and all the things you know that you, you you're focused on you and what's going on in your life your possessions you're not focused on them and their money and then you know another thing i can say is that um what man wouldn't want to spend money on a woman if he's interested in her and i also want to tell you sisters uh, don't be with a man that doesn't spend money on you if he does not think enough of you to want to um shower you and pamper you and treat you like a like a lady and like a queen you don't need that zero you need to get a hero you don't need that piece of trash let him roll on with something that he may feel is better than you but he'll find out it isn't when he finds out that um the real gold digger is the one that he was screwing you know and that i'm just i just felt the need to put that out there because i feel like maybe some of you sisters may be dealing with that where you all may be falsely accused out there and uh, somebody may see you in a light that is not your own not a light that's not your own but they may see you in a certain way that you are not and they may see somebody else in a certain way that they are not you know and, uh, when the real golden prize is you are not the trash that um they're trying to exalt and uh, so i just felt the need to come on and clarify that because you know um like the people that i'm enemies with they're just straight up trash there is just nowhere for them other than straight up trash i doubt they even sleep well at night and i know a lot of them have drug problems and alcohol problems and uh you know i think they just stay up at night and just obsess and live in their own private mental hell a mental hell is a prison where um you're um where people are obsessed with you they're tormented by the thought of you and you're out here free and living your lives and not thinking about them nor giving two cents about them but they're in their own mental hell and um i'm you know what i'm I guess I'm sort of about the one if that's not something that God Almighty has put on them. You know, they're going through hell, they're cursing, they're ranting, they're raving, and you don't even know them. <laughs> you don't know them, you don't speak to them, you don't acknowledge them. But yet and still, they feel the need to, you know, spread lies and call people gold diggers when they're probably the gold diggers. But um, anyway, I just want, felt the need to come on to share that with you all to just... Uh, make you aware that that may be some, that may be something that uh, some of these whores out here are saying is that you all are gold diggers and you know i look at it like this you know a gold digger is somebody that you know always somewhere with her hand out and not ever trying to obtain anything in life for herself you know or if, even if she is trying to obtain something she's just using a man for his money so a gold digger is somebody that will actually be with the man that she does not love for his money but see when you're the type of woman that don't mind working for your money then you know i seriously doubt that's that's somebody that would be a gold digger you know what i'm saying but you know a lot of those whores they know that you're not gold diggers they're just saying that to try to make you look bad or to try to uh, have some guy or a group of guys out there uh, look at you in a bad light a bad way and uh, well, I guess you know that kingdom of Satan just got tore down. That lie just got tore down. And uh, what these dudes out here need to do, they need to start exercising their intuition. And if they don't have intuition, they need to pray to God for discernment, so that they can make wise and intelligent decisions in their lives. Especially if it's the type of dudes that are surrounded by stupid horrors that aren't going anywhere in life and are resentful of anybody else that even tries to. You know, um, a lot of these guys out here, they need to watch the company that they keep. And I know a lot of men, men are very sexual and a lot of men like to surround themselves by women. But I mean, if what you're surrounded by are dirty skinks, I mean, come on now, you know, I mean, you get what you hang around. You know, you, you, you know that saying, you are what you eat. Well, people are going to judge you by the company that you keep. Okay, so with that said, you know, God bless you all until next time. And that message was to the dudes out there. And, um because um you know we just live in a very sad world and i tell you these wretches out here they're getting worse and worse and but i trust and believe that uh, god has his soldiers out here to take down them all okay so god bless you all my brothers and my sisters till next time bye bye